Hello and welcome to this video on Help Center Customization. Help Center is the one place where you get answers to all of your questions about the products and services offered by the company. The Help Center carries a lot of information, but that doesn't mean the web pages should look plain and simple. Wouldn't that be so dry and boring? When your prospects and customers visit the web page, you only have a few seconds to grab their attention and provide them with what they're looking for. Therefore, presenting the information you have and categorizing it in the best possible way is essential. So don't forget design. It's one of the important elements to consider when you build your help center. This video will help you do just that, customizing your help center theme. Let me show you an example, Zoho's help center. We have our brand's theme here with different sections starting with this one where we provide links to individual products, resources, and help documents. Then further down we have the section on support plans, and finally the kinds of support services we offer. The default theme will not be like this. Let me show you the default one that you see when you sign up for a new desk account. As you can see, this has been totally customized to this. To list a few benefits of customizing the Help Center, first and foremost, you can edit the web page to go with your brand's theme and color so that this important piece does not look out of place in your website. Second, your Help Center need not have just the basic stuff that everyone might have. You can experiment with a whole lot of widgets that we provide and, in addition to that, create your own. Third, all the information that you want to display can be designed into the page. You can organize them in such a way that the important blocks are prominent and your website visitors are able to navigate and find the details that they need pretty quickly. And of course, all of this put together helps you stand out from the rest. So let's get started on how to do it. Here's what we'll be covering. The basic customization option, editing the header and footer HTML, adding style to CSS, managing tabs, and finally, adding widgets. To access the customization options, go to Setup, Help Center under Channels, and here select the Help Center that you want to customize. That's right, each Help Center can be customized in a different way to address its purpose. For instance, you may have different divisions for products and services in your company and may have implemented a Help Center for two departments, namely products and services. In this case, you can choose to customize the help centers for both of these divisions or departments separately. Let's choose this one here, and you see we're able to access a whole lot of options to work with for this help center. Right from rebranding, access settings, languages, customization, and a whole lot more. For now, let's move on to customization. By default, the elegant theme is the one that is pre-applied. You can either choose to go with this or change it to another theme. For this video, let's customize the elegant theme. The options are divided into three sections here. Customize, Tabs, and Widgets. Under Customize, the first one is the Appearance. Here you can choose the font, specify the background color, background images, colors for headers and tabs, and some settings for navigation, breadcrumbs, links, buttons, and footer. The WYSIWYG editor is pretty convenient here as you can check the changes made instantly. Let's try a few changes, like changing the background color, adding a different color on the hover, and a different color for the breadcrumb background. These are some basic yet important options that you can use if you want to quickly implement some customizations for your website. But what if you want to totally change the look of the page? Well, that's where HTML and CSS blocks come in handy. These two sections give you a free hand at including styles and adding more personalized look for your company's page. For instance, if you want to add a tab to the header links, all you need to do is add it to the header HTML code.
This is instantly reflected here. Or you can also check it out in the page preview. The same is the case for the footer. Do note that you can't create a web page for the custom tab. All you can do is add a URL for the custom tab to which the visitors will be redirected. For example, you can add a tab that takes the users to the product training website that you already have. So that's what we have for the header and footer changes. Next is the CSS. On the Help Center, when you use Inspect Element option to view the code, you'll notice the predefined CSS classes that are available. This one, for example. The attribute KB Landing is the name of the class that is the Knowledge Base homepage. You can use this class name to add your own styles in the CSS section here. Now, you may have a specific style in mind for wherever the related topic sections is added, or you want to make sure all the subheadings in the page have the same font, font color, or size. Then all you need is a style added for the relevant class in this CSS section. Another important attribute is the signed in class. This is particularly useful when you want the customization to be applied or visible only when users are signed in to your help center. You can remove this attribute while making global changes. This option to add styles to the CSS is a great way to implement all the design elements to your help center. Make sure to check out our help docs on modifying CSS to refer to the list of class styles that we use in Zoho Desk. You can edit those for customizations. Moving on to the next option here is tabs. This is the place where you can reorder your tabs. Further, when you click on a tab, you can rename it, disable them, or even set one as the default tab. For example, the page that your visitors will first visit on your help center. Note that you can disable the tab from here or from within the tab edit pop-up. Both options help you disable the tab altogether, and it will not be accessible to the public. For instance, if you're temporarily hiding the entire knowledge base, in this case, you need to hide the tab. You can do so by adding the code snippet in the HTML section that we saw earlier. Note that if someone has bookmarked it or has the URL to the page, they can still access it directly. Next, let's say I add a custom tab in the header HTML. It's visible on the header, but note that the moment you add it, the option to reorder the tab under the tab section will no longer be available, as you can see here. But you can always use HTML to reorder them. Furthermore, the Add Request Form tab here cannot be customized. This is the page where you have the request form published. You can only set it as default. That was all about tabs. Next, we move on to an important part of customization, the widgets. Widgets expand the scope of your customization. Be it an announcement block, a section with the most popular articles, or a section to showcase the services offered, widgets is the solution. You can choose from the default widgets that Zoho Desk provides or create your own widget and add it to the page. Under widgets, there are two main things that you can do. One is to manage all the widgets and the other is to add or remove widgets from the various pages in the Help Center. First, let's create a widget. The default ones are like the announcements, popular articles, recent topics, etc. These can be previewed but cannot be edited and are available for all departments. Note that if you have enabled multi-branding in your Zoho Desk account and your departments have one help center each, these widgets can be used there as well because they're organization specific. You can also find out the pages where this widget has been used. 
Now, as for the custom widget, let's create one, say a section on one of the two different types of support services that we offer. First, we choose a language for which we are creating this widget. Let's leave it as English here. We give it a relevant name, and we can choose to show the widget's name in the live page. This option helps you hide or disable the widget if required for this selected language, that is, English. Say, for example, I create the same widget in French and keep it hidden till I'm ready with my French website and then use it when I go live with a localized website. Next, let's add in a description and choose the departments where this widget can be used. Here again, since multi-branding is enabled, I'm going to choose the support department as this widget is specific to just this help center. Next is the main part, the content editor where we add the widget's content and design. This editor has all the important formatting tools that one needs to create a really cool widget. Once done, we can preview the widget and save it. Do note that this widget is only created for the English language. You can create the same widget for other languages as well from right here. If any language is missing, you need to first ensure that it's part of the multi-languages list that is supported for the Help Center. And secondly, under Help Center, Languages, make sure it's added under Multilingual section. In case you delete a widget, it will not be removed from your desk account, be it the default ones that come with Zoho Desk or custom ones that you created you'll always be able to find them under the trashed widget from where you can restore it back or delete it permanently. Moving on, now that we have the widget ready, let's add it to our homepage. We go to Pages, and in the homepage, choose the custom widget and just drag it to the spot in the page. Let's see how it'll look in the live page, and we're good to go. What's useful here is the preview for the tab and phone mobile device. You can quickly check them before publishing the theme for your help center. Now it's time for the final step, publishing the theme. Well, that's just a click away. Hit publish and you're live with a new theme. Giving your help center a personalized look that goes with your brand statement doesn't need to be a tough job. All the customization options that we learn in this video are pretty straightforward, aren't they? So definitely give it a try, and you can always reach us at support at zohodesk.com for any help. Thanks for watching.